Optimal MRI shielding design requires a clear understanding of existing or planned site conditions, user needs, and constructability. It also requires experience that successfully addresses the physics of MRI equipment, including radio frequency interference, magnetic field containment, and acoustic noise impact. This series of videos provides an overview of what eight steps iMedco uses to complete successful MRI installations around the country. It's probably not something you want to think about now, but at some point in the future, you will need to decide if you will refurbish or replace your MRI shield. Here are the three factors that will help you make that decision. Understanding long and short-term costs, evaluate current shielding and equipment, review impact of downtime and other construction-related considerations. Factor number one, long and short-term costs. While the newer shield designs may be upgraded with the replacement of a simple component or two, such as a new door and window, other designs may not be conducive to a simple, predictable repair. Determining the total cost of replacing or refurbishing your RF shield should be on a case-by-case -case basis. Your MRI shielding vendor can help you determine what path is right for your facility. Factor number two, current MRI performance. A baseline RF test will help determine if performance can be improved to meet new equipment requirements. Once testing is complete, there will be a determination of upgradability. If the shield can be upgraded, an estimate will be provided. Factor number three, construction related considerations. It is important to understand the degree of disruption to the area during refurbishment or replacement. These three factors we have just discussed are the keys to long-term return on investment for your MRI. Suite. From preliminary designs to complete shielding specifications, the iMedco team is ready to support your efforts. Contact us today so we can be part of your successful MRI installation.